brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It has been a fantastic voyage to Christ. It has been a fantastic voyage. I mean, the journey with Christ has been very beautiful. But um, since we don't have time, I want to zero into uh, what happened uh, in the program. Now, um, my name is Ita Ewa Obogo. This program was to start on Wednesday. And I had a very important meeting to attend in the university on that Wednesday. And then this meeting is a Senate meeting. When we start by 10 o'clock or thereabout, sometimes we end it by 6, 7 o'clock. Now, I was just telling my God, this program, I can't miss this program. I must be in this program. Uh, what do we do? Okay, we'll go for the Senate, then we must come back. I must come back. So, um, on Tuesday, I was in Calabar trying to put uh, something together for submission outside the country. And then I was really engaged. So, the car had some brake problems. Uh, I called the mechanic. He came to my house, picked the car. Very unusual. I take my car to the mechanics when he has a problem, and I sit down there, see him, you know, do the job, and then whatever. But this time around, the mechanic came to the house, picked the car. Did the, after about six hours, he came back. He said, the car is okay, prof. I said, thank you. I didn't tell the car. Now, on Wednesday morning, it's about the journey. My son has come back from for holidays. My wife also said he has something to do on that Wednesday. And I told them we must come back. And as we went as we went back on the journey, I I keep telling myself I must come back. Within me, I must come back for this program. Then we started moving. At um, <clears throat> at, uh, how do you call this place, the rubber plantation. They were lined up of cars, lorries, chain. And um, I say, wow, of course. But I started overtaking with speed. That car you see, so it might look, oh, but it moves when you want to move. So I, I raced, but I took these vehicles very fast. We're going. I remember my wife told my son, put on your seatbelt. He was, she was still behind. He was still behind, and she was in front. It was, it was barely three, four minutes, five minutes, one of the five minutes, from there to, um, um, how do you call this junction? Urupani Junction. Then we started negotiating towards uh, Itu Road, Uyo. At uh, that very first point, that cap water, always water there, and then you have to negotiate very slowly. So as soon as we passed that point, was trying to go. Of course, my spirit was to move, move fast. Suddenly, a vehicle just came from nowhere because I overtook every vehicle. No vehicle was coming behind me. Didn't even notice. So this taxi man just came and then, and then somebody said, "Stop, stop, stop, stop." The person in front of stands, "Stop, stop, stop." So, stop, stop. Stop your tire, your tire. Behold. I just stopped. He said, don't move, don't move. Before, before I knew he had passed, and I stopped. Behold, when I came out, of course, it's Jesus appeared in the last minute. It was the last minute. When I came out, the, the last knot, bolts, the wheel, the wheel bolt, was just on the ground. The last one, the rest of, the rest of all Vanish. I don't know where they. So I was driving a car without with no boat, and I was ready to take off very fast again. So uh, the spirits of the program, because my spirit was here to attend the program, the spirit of the program arrested the situation. In the last minute, Jesus came in and said, "Hey, stop." 
because it was Jesus that came in that time and said, Stop. Use those guys, of course. Stop. And then, I don't know if you can imagine what I'm talking about. If you can imagine, if you're a driver, you can imagine what I'm talking about. So, um, the truth about it is this as a scientist, that same tire has had the same problem thrice for the third time. First time was when the car was almost brand new. It happened. God has been, uh, of course, there to help save me from this dangerous situation. The second one happened sometime last month. No problem. This one's. The third one was just on Wednesday. And that is why I believe that there was a coven in that tire. <laughs> there was a coven. That's what it means. That's what I say as a scientist. There was a coven in that tire. So the coven has now been squashed in Jesus' name. Yesterday night, the apostle was ministering. Thank God we have, God has given us a wonderful woman of God who is very, very rare, very rare in the universe on earth. You won't believe it, but that is true. Newcomers, I'm addressing this to you. Our, our old uh, members know about this. Our apostle is rare. You don't find such people. Now, when she was ministering, stood up there, said, after the word of other, word of knowledge, one or two, second one of thought, she said, um, it's a man here who has bladder problem, with the coven, your bladder, and that makes you keep urinating, and urinating, and urinating in the night, sometimes up to five times, or there about. That coven has ceased. It's been closed. That's what she said. So, immediately pricked me, Hey, could that be me? Well, I hardly eat. For a long time, I don't eat late. Just because I don't want to urinate. I, don't, I, I stopped drinking water by maybe six. But yesterday, when I got home, I ate very sumptuously and I drank plenty of water. But I urinated none till this morning. Praise the Lord. So you can see the coven in the bladder has been closed and closed permanently. In Jesus' name. And you commas, you newcomers, I want to tell you, continue. We are not here talking grammar. We are, we, are, we are real. God is real with us. God is everywhere, but he's not acting in everywhere. But I tell you here, God is here and acting here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To all this, to all what God has done, and all what has been doing, and what all, all is going to do in the future, give glory and honor unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can you give God a loud clap offering?